up guys, more Medic One. Today I have a pretty old SRM 261T on the bench and it uh, it's doing the whole, it'll idle, but when you give it gas, it just bogs out and it doesn't rev up, has no power and it's spitting gas out of the carburetor when it's running. So the first thing that I do is I check the exhaust and make sure it's good and clean. And as we can tell, this engine's not that bad. It's got just a little bit of carbon buildup. The piston looks good. However, the oil grooves of the piston are washed away. The engine still runs and has good idle, but the engine is getting a little bit worn out. So we'll go ahead and we'll clean up this exhaust, but let me show you the main issue. Now, I already removed all the screws that hold the, the flow director or diffuser for the muffler. And as we can tell, oh my goodness, look at these gaskets and the, uh, the screen is gone. And as we can see the catalytic converter down in there, all this gasket material has chipped away, gotten rotten, gotten hot. You know, look at this. All of that material and carbon and junk basically clogged up the diffuser. Now the exhaust flows in this direction here when the engine fires and those exhaust pulses go into the diffuser and they go in to two channels on each side of the diffuser and come out here through the exhaust. It's a laminated piece that's spot welded on the top here. It works okay, but what I did just to do some testing, I took my uh, pair of pliers and I peeled this back so that I could get, you can see my finger right there, so I could get some exhaust flow. And I put it together and it did, ran, it did run good. But however, this muffler is gone. I mean, it's r rusted, rotted out. I've got the screw holes are stripped out. I want to take this muffler apart if I can, and I want to see the catalytic converter. What do you say? I've never been into one of these, and I'm sure you guys haven't either. It's just two halves that's sandwiched over and pinched, kind of like how they do a radiator on a car. So I'm just going to get a screwdriver, and I'm going to work this muffler open, and let's see what's inside of one of these catalytic converters. You get the, the general consensus about what I'm doing here. I'm just going to go around and try to get this muffler apart all the way around. Catch you guys in just a minute. Very interesting. Let's go ahead and I'll remove the cover we can see the catalytic converter assembly and this one's clear however it was stopped up in the diffuser as I showed you earlier and the whole muffler is just rusted out these pal nuts are stripped out it's just rusted out in places this is pretty neat how the only way that the exhaust can exit, the exhaust is coming in here from the engine. There's really no baffles at all, none whatsoever. So it's basically all the exhaust flows through the catalytic converter. And we all know how a catalytic converter works. So when you crank up your trimmer, whether it be a four cycle, an automobile, a motorcycle, or a trimmer that's two stroke, it doesn't matter. The oil and the gas has no effect on clogging of a catalytic converter. However, when the gas starts flowing through from the engine, it flows through this catalyst right here. This is a ceramic honeycomb that has the catalyst on it. 
And as the gases heat this up and flow through this catalytic converter, the gases escape through the outlet on the muffler as water vapor, uh, carbon dioxide, and uh, nitrogen. So all three of those elements are non-toxic to humans or plants or animals, but the gases come, if it didn't have a catalytic converter, the emissions would be higher. And I'll tell you what, if I've had a lot of comments saying that they wanted to delete the catalytic converter. There's, we, I just don't have any problems out of these. So just leave them in there. They flow great. I mean, it's just basically a wide open hole. You can see through it and uh, yeah. So this is what a catalytic converter looks like on a weed trimmer. So the reason the engine wouldn't run is because this diffuser got clogged up with rotten gasket material. Guys, if this content helped you out, give me a thumbs up and smash that subscribe button. Click that bell to get all my new videos. Y'all have a good Thursday and we'll, guys, we'll catch you on the next one. More Medic One. Have a good day.